dream of trying to play me Gazing on days and contagious show my baby We know each other like the back of our hands Understand there's no mistake and I'm taking this show my dream What's good beautiful people? It's your girl Asia It's your boy BJ Back in the building Back in effect like, like we, we never, never left. left. As y'all can see by that thumbnail, y'all, we're getting into Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald. Absolutely. Before we get into <laughs> this video, before we even touch the video, um, if y'all are new to this channel, we want to tell y'all we welcome y'all with open arms. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell so whenever these videos get uploaded, y'all will be the first one to check it out. Yeah. Y'all, I'm, I'm dying to see what Tom going to be talking about in this particular song. Woo! Y'all, because y'all know it's a whole bunch of talk <clears throat> around this subject, okay? Absolutely. You know he got a lot to say. And uh, it's gonna be a little controversy. Oh, especially when he came out. With, he came out with this March the 18th. That was like a couple days after. That was before I left work. That was like a couple weeks, maybe after shit started taking off with yeah. with, with coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I'm very curious to see what he had to say about it then. Yeah. And where we are with it now. Yeah, you know, press and fast forward where we at right now. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't even check that out. But yeah, he dropped this like literally like when it kind of started cracking. Yeah, that was right. I think like because it didn't, it really didn't start coming out. They didn't really start talking about it until like February, like maybe the end of January. January February kinda started yeah. kind of coming up a little bit yeah. more. But I have but, been following it. Yeah. <laughs> like way before that. But as far as like things shutting down and, and, and things like changing drastically, I like, like things hadn't changed drastically at that point. Yeah. It was, it was just getting ready to crack. Not yet. So not with what I knew. What I knew. Yeah. I I if y'all, let's go on and get into this video. Let's get into this video. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot behind this video. So I'm really, really curious to know how this should go. Hold on. I don't know what to think about this virus. Started in China, mm. now everybody in America's hiding. There's no groceries because people start to panic and buy it. The shelves are empty, the ones with plenty already stockpiling. Y'all making memes, think it's funny? Wait a week till the riots, wait a month till the only way to eat is be violent. It's not the sickness, it's mm. scary. It's all the people who while in the government lying. They trying to keep us calm through the sirens. You know it's for. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, 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 Tom. He said, talking about the government lying. They say the only way people go start eating in a month is through violence. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, last year if we just put, if we just press rewind, like a lot of stuff was, it was just crazy. Like everything happens so fast. It just happens so fast. Like yeah. yeah. I feel like everything that transpired just went like that. Like from the moment it started kind of taking off, it just seems like there was just a lot of panic, a lot of fear, a Absolutely. lot of um, un like everybody was unsure of what was gonna happen. It was just a lot of just a chaos yeah it was a very like. chaotic time just, just really a lot of uncertainty like you, you know you hanging on to every other day trying to figure out what you know what's 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 coming around the corner like yeah. what's new or, or how we finna live moving forward you know and, and and so much misinformation you know like everybody's really just trying to gather the facts yeah. in regards to what's going on yeah. like tom uh, that's what I like about a lot of Tom's songs. Like when he talks about a particular subject, he jumps straight into it. Like yeah. he like he don't warm y'all up. Like he jumps straight <laughs> into it. <laughs> yeah. And give you the realness and the rawness. Yeah. Uh, and I mean that's what I like about Tom a lot. Yeah. In regards to his music. Cause he, I mean when he dive into it, it's like he he jumping off that Olympic diving board splash. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like he wasn't necessarily writing so much about the virus itself. I think he was writing. Well, we just we're thirty seconds in. Okay. But I feel like he's writing around everything that was going on around that. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Because the first thing everybody did was went and bought a whole bunch of food. Like, <laughs> even we did. We had so much food in the freezer. We couldn't even close the refrigerator. We didn't even know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Cause that's just... And it was like, damn, why we got all this food in here? You know what I mean? And and I think it was just Clean because we were scared. Like, like we didn't know what was going to happen. I think... I was scared, y'all. You, you... And I was telling y'all behind... I, we're not gonna get into that. I wasn't scared. Okay, because it, <clears throat> I ain't you, never scared. I don't know. Like bone crusher. You, you should have been scared, yo, because you caught it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I I feel like there was a lot of uncertainty going around this, and when he made this video, like even he didn't have all the facts at this point when this video dropped. So I feel like he probably hurried up and put something out, but 
I don't know. In a way, I'm I'm kind of curious to see where this is finna go because I'm just like, how much how much yeah. could you talk about something that you weren't really sure of? But everything he said so far, he's on point with it right now. He's right on point mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, because. Yeah, he ran on at, at this it. point in time, this came out March the 18th, so yeah. we was barely in good yeah. but by, you, this, by this time. But you never know, maybe Tom, be, Tom being who Tom is, maybe he knew about it way, way before it dropped. Or, what, you know, before everybody else knew, kind of like how you kind of already kind of had some information about it. So. Yeah. Oh, I knew a lot you know? about it. And I was trying to tell you about it. Yeah. But wasn't nobody listening because it was, <clears throat> it, was, it was downplayed. Like, it was just downplayed. Like majorly mm -hmm. especially starting from where it came from yeah yeah Sickness is scary, it's all the people who while in the government lying, they trying to keep us calm through the sirens, you know it's for real. And all the pharmaceutical giants don't have a cure that they can sell you, so now everyone's dying. There's no vaccines mm. or medication made that can fight it. I guess it's time to pray to God we can't rely on the science. And everyone oh. around me in a mask and some gloves. The stock market crashed and the banks about the bust. Tell us sanitize our hands, this will pass. It's a bug, stay inside, you'll be fine till we're trapped there for months. Mm. It's a ghost town, we're in this together. Mm. This a pandemic, but we don't listen to the news because they lied to us for years. So how we know that this the truth? And most of us are young enough to think that we're immune. So we just pass it on to people who won't survive it like you. It's either worse mm. than they're telling us or it's nothing at all. But the school shut down, a ghost town in the mall. They go quarantine the city, block the road out of Dodge. Then tell us leaving our homes is actually breaking the law. This is Ooh. He said, with us leaving the house, Ooh, after breaking the law. Lord <laughs> Jesus, y'all. This is just... Tom is taking the words right out of my mouth. You, you, you took the words right it's out of... It's almost like there's nothing... He said it all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was... I just... God, dog. It's so much I want to say about this. I, I feel like I got to choose my words carefully. Yeah, at the end of the day, with, I, with, he just hit right on the nail. Explains, you know? Yeah, he, he is. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, there's just... There was just a... There's just a lot of controversy <laughs> a lot of uh topic of conversation if you will about the information that we were given about what was going on at the time like i just feel like they're you know the media does what the media does well and that was just to put a bunch of damn fear in people right and uh, like it just I, I feel like that's that's what really brought the hype on you know what i mean right. like that's what i was talking about early on even when you was like we got to go do this and do xyz and i was like yeah we got to but I think the the whole hype and the whole rush is obviously it comes from the media. It always does with, with anything. You know what I mean? But no, I mean I I don't know I don't know I. It God. was that's why I was like just cut the just we just got to cut the TV off because if they if they talk about this every single day it's gonna have people living in a state of paranoia because they said when the media gets a topic they just sensationalize it they run it 24 7 you know they're gonna talk about it for weeks and weeks and months and months and then as soon as something new comes along they're gonna jump on that bandwagon and the next thing you know the whole pandemic kind of got pushed to the side a little bit kind of like when when um the po you know with the police brutality and things stuff and the protests start coming up the next thing you know you didn't even hear about um the pandemic for like two weeks yeah. three weeks and, yeah. and, and we in the midst of it so right yeah yeah, I mean, I just feel like there's so many ways this conversation can go, yeah. especially when you're dealing with this topic, because I don't want to be disrespectful, yeah. you know what I mean? A lot of people it, lost their lives in regards a to A lot this. of people yeah. lost their lives to this, but I also feel like it could very have well been prevented, like yeah. very, 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 very much yeah. been prevented. A lot of people, a lot of lives could have been like spared yeah. if if we had been informed correctly. And And it happens like that all the time in regards to just misinformation. Um, you know, doctors, people jumping the gun, thinking that it, it's something that it's not, and then you know it turns out to be, you know, it, it's still a, a it, it's a serious thing that's going on, but just the way that they kind of sensationalize it early on almost mm -hmm. makes it sound like you know the Grim Reaper is is coming. You know yeah. what I mean? And you know it, it it's just crazy and and yeah, it, it yeah, stirs people remember, up. At one point, I was like, no, nah, hell no, nah, don't open the windows because I don't want that shit coming. <laughs> like you know what I mean? But that's how I felt. Like I yeah. literally felt like hell. If you open the windows, it's gonna blow through the window. Like Corona's out there. You know, you know what I mean? Like that's how they made people feel. You know? I mean, I mean, I mean, you know what they do with the chemtrails and what they put in the air? So you just never know. Yeah, you ne you never know, but yeah. everybody wanted somebody to blame on this, and I and I feel like everybody's gonna blame somebody. 
Because at the end of the day, there's, do. there's somebody to blame for. Because what people do. Some, yeah. Somewhere along the line, somebody dropped the ball. But at the same time, I just feel like, you know, it it just got out of control very fast because of the panic and the spiraled fear in a, behind spiraled it. Spiraled into a whirlwind like that. Yeah. Zero to 100 real yeah. quick. Yeah. Real quick. Yeah. Real, real quick. Quarantine the city, block the road out of Dodge Then tell us leaving our homes is actually breaking the law This is just the beginning, you know it's gotta get worse If the doctors mm. get sick, the hospitals won't work The conspiracy theories all sound like facts, that's for sure But the fact is, we're trapped on this planet called Earth And the bleach gone, the bread gone, the water sold out The meat gone, the milk gone, the pasta sold out Don't leave anything no. for anyone, you hoard it for yourself You'd rather tell them go to hell than be a man and go and help no. We're hoping for the best, but we're preparing for the worst. There's one thing we're not scared of, it's hard work. We're up against an enemy that doesn't have a face. There's no bombs we can drop, there's nowhere we can aim. There's no soldiers to stop with a tank at the gates. There's no cure that we've got or a pill we can take. There's no food, it's been bought. The truth is, we're afraid. We sit inside mm. our rooms and we pray. It's a ghost town, we're in this together. They're closing all the stores down, we're heading for shelter. It's a war now, they'll always remain. This is, I just, uh, like, I just, I admire Tom so much. I, I, I um, admire him being brave and talking about stuff that a lot of people won't really take on in terms of topics and conversations like this because it's, it's a very, it's a back and forth thing. Some people think one thing, some people think another thing, some people, like, whatever. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, all I know is over 500, 600, almost 600,000 lives got, got lost behind it and it was very unfortunate and it, it it just was something that i feel i strongly feel could have been prevented like not necessarily every single one of them but it could have it could have saved a lot of lives Absolutely. had we had we had the right information and this this took the right steps too. yeah just took all the right steps i just feel like we just missed a lot of major steps along the way and and doing what we should have done as America, the the strongest nation in the world, yeah. to overcome something like this. And Lead of the like free world. We got we got God. Like <laughs> and that's really what it comes down to. Like we got God and we got God good. Um but you know, I feel like we are a strong nation. I feel like people are gonna bounce back from this stronger than ever as everything else does yeah. when, when stuff goes down hill for us as a country and um, the world, man. Yeah. You know the world. Worldwide, the world. Yeah. yeah. And everybody, and and they should. I think if anything, like this should be a lesson that this is still a thing. Like a pandemic is still real. Like it can really happen mm -hmm. in today's century. And, and you know, it's almost like we're living in a matrix now. Yeah. Like with what's going on, the control, the just you, you, we're we're on lockdown. It's like we're in jail, but we're free. <laughs> In a, in a way like that's kind of the feeling that it felt when we went into quarantine everybody right. was just kind of hunkered down and just yeah to themselves waiting to see Which, what's gonna happen yeah. but not only that i just feel like the coronavirus created a lot of you know other issues for other people like I, good and bad you know what i mean like for some it, it might have helped you find mm -hmm. your creativity it brought you closer to your family there were a lot of positive things mm -hmm. that came out of it but also more so than anything, there were a lot of negative things that backfired from how we took our own precautions. And, and I feel like it was, you know, being that we are in the century that we are in today, that people doubted that it would get to the point that it did. And because of that, um, you know, everybody had to suffer the consequences, whether it was you yourself or somebody that you knew, a family member, mm -hmm. a friend, and we all paid 
some type of price for it. You know, whether it had been your job, you lost your, your house, you lost your car, like whatever it was, there was a circumstance behind it. And I feel like everybody was affected. Whether you got money or you don't got money, Everybody's you affected. were affected. Yeah, if, <laughs> if, if, you couldn't go to your, if you couldn't go to your job or you couldn't leave the house to go to the store because they were out of food, you were affected. Yeah. Whether it was small or whether you was affected by having to be hospitalized because you actually caught it. Mm. Or, or even worse, you know, you had to bury a family member. So. Yeah. You know, um, you know, one thing I did want to say in regards to this song, uh, like Tom McDonald, like when he put this out, like he like he, he really, really like touched the pulse of what was going on mm -hmm. at that exact moment yeah. when this came out. Yeah. So it's, it's almost like like me reliving it again, like reliving that time again of uncertainty, not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, you know, kind of really just hanging on to your faith because that's all that we had at the end of the day yeah. was just our faith in God. Uh, our faith in each other that we're gonna get through this especially just being together and I feel like like kind of like in regards to what you said um, that this did help people find other avenues of ways to, to live uh, other ways to survive out here yeah. you know a lot of people have to go out and get a second job or some people have to go out and start finding like little hobbies or, or start trying to be more entrepreneurial mm -hmm. you know to try to get ahead because you know people were just stuck cooped up in the house yeah and you know, sometimes when something bad like this happens, there's always a blessing in disguise. And yeah. I felt like, especially for us in our situation, it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah. It, you know, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, you know, you just got to just pray for everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody. And exactly. Because a lot of people lost lives. You know, I, I lost an aunt. You know what I mean? I had a lot of people that were sick, you know, in, in my family that, mm -hmm. that, that caught it. You know, I talk to coworkers every day. They like, yeah, I caught it too. I had it too. So and you were sick. You were sick. Yeah, yeah. Like y'all, <laughs> when I tell you, I woke up and I was hot because he was yeah. feverish under the covers. I was so freaking hot. And and, and it was like, and, and this was um, December of 2019. Yeah. So, so this was before right before everything Christmas. Yeah. Yep. Because because so, yeah. we our Christmas picture. I was like, can you please take that mask off your face? Yep. And you had been to the doctor. And I had a mask on. And they had told him he had strep throat. That like, no, he didn't have strep throat. You didn't have the flu, but they didn't know what was wrong with you. But they mm -hmm. treated you for strep throat. Yeah. That's what you yeah, said. Yeah, kind of like bronchitis too. Yeah. Yeah. They gave me like a little bit of an antibiotic, but me mostly like I took like some thorough flu, drank a lot of water. And, and it took you still like a month. Yeah, it took me about before a you even yeah, because remember yeah. I was like, take that mask off your face so we can take Christmas pictures, mm -hmm. y'all. Like he mm -hmm. had this mask on his face. He's like, the doctor told me not to take it off. I had the mask on before everybody had the mask on. Yeah, yeah. and we didn't at that point, yeah. that was when I kind of started paying attention to it. That's what made me start thinking about because I had got sick and got him sick and he was like i don't you know we were joking about it remember mm -hmm. i was like you gonna get sick you go you drink it after me blah 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 did, and yeah. sure enough y'all he got sick but he got real sick mm -hmm. like he didn't even get out of the bed <laughs> you know what i mean like it was like that yep, and yep. We i was tripping. on fire yes. <laughs> burning up and i was like i don't know because remember you even saying you left work because you were saying you couldn't breathe mm -hmm. Like he went to the emergency room and everything, y'all. Like it was real. Like yeah. we convinced that that's what that was because they didn't have a clue what was wrong with yeah, him. Yeah, because they never really gave me a diagnosis other than saying it was bronchitis. And yeah. I'm like, I've never had bronchitis a day in my life. Yeah. But it is what it is. I'm here. I done bounced back, like I said before. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, I can appreciate him for making this song. I just, you know, I'll continue to pray for everybody that was affected by this in the worst way. You know, because some people lost entire families with just leaving a son or a daughter or a child, like with nobody, you know what I mean? Because of the effects of this. And I, I pray for everybody's health. I pray for everybody's safety. I pray that everybody just looks out for each other. Don't just think about yourself, but think about everybody else around you. The people that matter to somebody else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Other than yourself. Spread love. Yeah. Make sure we don't spread germ. And I don't think people tried. No, nah, they didn't. I don't think people tried. They, they're they're not like trying to, it but, it, a... it, but, it, but it's happening. Yeah. It happened, yeah. 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 So. Whether we try to avoid it or not, you know, those types of, those biological things are, are just going to happen. Absolutely. With us just being close in close contact with each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all let us know how y'all was affected by this down in the comment section. I'm just curious to know everybody else's stories, especially going back into the 2019 coming into 2020 when all of this kind of wasn't even really coming up. So yeah. if y'all enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Absolutely. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next 
video, y'all. Absolutely. Bye. Peace and blessings, y'all. Yeah. Continue to be safe. Definitely that.